Hello YouTube, Tim here, and I think oh, something... Oh, oh, oh. Great, man. Different dog. Totally different. Anyway. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Less talking, whoa. more showing. This is my new Ottoman Turkish style bow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It was built with a 42 inch core and two inches on each side. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Makes 46 inches of overall length, making it a little bit a little bit larger than my usual. That's excellent. It should be more comfortable. I also have this thumb ring. I replaced this was from Erkanesim, my uh, Turkish friend, and I went ahead and replaced the piece of leather inside with a slightly thicker piece of leather. This way it fits just right. It's a little tiny bit snug, but I'll sand the leather out. But now it's that should be just perfect. I haven't even drawn the bow yet. I'm hoping it doesn't explode on me. That would be embarrassing. Normally I draw them before I test them, but in this case I thought I would make an exception since I'd like to have a little bit of fun tonight. I'm gonna try using the thumb ring and we'll see what happens if I can even hit the target. I'm gonna be a little closer than normal, so wish me luck. something I wanted to say. One way that I know stringing, if you're stringing, you're shooting thumb style, this is great. I find it very convenient and easy to hold it like so. If you can index it in your hand prior to, simply slide it forward and then slide it back. Typically that's a lot easier. So forward and back. It's already on the string. Pretty quick and easy relative to setting it down, fiddling around, but to do that you really need to have it indexed already. So if you can hold several arrows in your hand simultaneously, you can probably make a pretty good show of it. Well, this is still very unusual to me. I will say at this distance, I'm impressed that I hit the target at all, let alone, I think, four out of six times, was it? Not bad. Anyway, looks good. Feels good. The sias are nice. All I'm gonna do now is add a little tiny bit of epoxy just to round out the ends and blend them into the, the kasan, into the bosh. In general, I don't want to cut them. Unless I was using a really strong epoxy or something, I could be very certain would hold it together. I don't want to trim and violate the integrity of the pipe here, since as it's leveraging back, if there's any weak spot, that'll all that force is magnified at the edge of a crack, and it's more likely to shatter. So just rounding them and keeping them intact, although still fairly elegant and tapered, is a big help. <clears throat> uh, what else of note? I'd like to try using a different string. I thought it might be worthwhile to make one out of the Astroflight that I have, be a little bit lighter. The overall mass of this bow is 403 grams right now. That's going to increase when I build up the handle 
and when I put on any, any decoration. But for the moment, this is great. Uh, that, was, that was pretty cool. To Erkan, çok teşekkür ederim. Sorry for my bad Turkish, but thank you very much. You're a very dear friend, and I appreciate that. Uh, thanks to everybody watching. I appreciate all of you guys too, and gals. Particularly gals in Australia, apparently. I've been looking up in the uh, in the demographics of who, who's watching videos, and oddly, in Australia, there's a slightly higher than average percentage of, uh, of ladies watching. Go figure, right? Anyway, again, thank you, and have a wonderful day. Check back in soon.